name's Charlie. I'm with Air North Communications, and today what we're doing is we're looking at the uh, the Roku device. We've got the uh, the, the Roku Express. It's a uh, device that basically takes your regular television and converts it to a smart TV. It's an adapter to allow your television to interact online uh, with online apps, be able to watch uh, programs like or I'm sorry, apps like Netflix uh, and, and various different other TV accessing applications. Um, it's something that Air North Communications, we provide uh, a free Roku device when you sign up for DSL service. And basically what it is, it's our way to be able to compete with the major uh, cable carriers that are out there that are already providing internet and television. Basically what they do is they'll bundle it together, give it to you at a discount for a, a period of time, and then then they start increasing their rates. And what we try to do is we try to provide uh, a good quality service uh, at a reasonable rate that's affordable to, uh, to most budgets. And, and this is one way that we found that we're able to compete with the uh, major carriers that are out there. So what we're looking at now, I've got, I've got my television set up with the Roku device, and we're just gonna go through just a brief tutorial to show you how it works and uh, what the capabilities are. And I apologize for the bright lights, it's a super bright day today, and there is a bit of reflection on the TV, so you may see me popping in and out of the screenshot there. But uh, here we go. So right now, I've got, I already have a smart TV, but I've got the Roku device set up with my smart TV because there are more applications available through the Roku device than that came with my smart TV. So to access the Roku, I'm just going to go to my home menu, and I'm going to go to inputs. And every television is going to have an inputs uh, button somewhere on there. Uh, I currently have the Roku device plugged into HDMI 1. So we're going to select HDMI 1. That's going to take us to the Roku device. And notice on the, uh, the left hand side there we've got a menu and on the right hand side it's a series of applications that are available through the Roku device. Now this isn't the full listing. Uh, right now it's only showing 25 channels. So I've got 25 apps downloaded to this device. So on the left hand side in the menu area, you can see we've got home, my feed, news, search, streaming channels, and settings. Uh, I'm not going to bore you guys and go through all of those, but uh, they're basically quick links for you to be able to access several of the different uh, things that you'd like to see. News, uh, when you have your own particular feed, things that you enjoy watching, uh, you can add those to the my feed. But we're just going to, we're going to pop over here, we're going to take a look at some of the more popular apps that are available. So we've got Netflix, which is obviously one of the big ones out there, uh, Hulu, uh, Amazon Prime, I believe also has an option of being on here as well. One of the things as a, uh, a carrier, when we're talking to people, typically what we'll do is we'll, we'll direct people over to what's called Sling Television and, or Sling TV. This, this app reacts and acts the most like what people are used to with their standard television watching when, they, when they've got... Uh, services like uh, Charter, uh, Charter Communications, you've got Cox, you've got all that, and I'm trying to think of some of the major carriers that are out there. Um, but then also, when you're using the satellite services, everybody's accustomed to that, uh, that grid style menu. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and click on the Sling Television, go inside of it so you guys can take a look at it. And this is what it looks like when it starts up. And notice we've got my TV. So basically, what this is, this is a list of uh, recordings that are available. Uh, when you get when you get into here, this does act a little different than your your standard um, charter. I'm sorry, your standard cable carrier. Sorry, I keep I keep mentioning charter because that's who the uh, the carrier is in my area. But I know there are several of them out there. Uh, so this is going to look similar to the menu options uh, when you, we get to the guide, but before we get to the guide, you'll see under my TV, my channels, we've got this. This is more like a uh, a Netflix or a Hulu type layout where you've got several different things like you may have been watching. So the featured movies, you can see the various featured movies we've got available here, and you scroll through it just like you would uh, a Netflix or a Hulu or anything like that. And uh, your featured shows, uh, featured sports. If you're a sports person, you've got your favorites and all sorts of different things. And this list will grow. The more you watch it, the more it'll customize to. Uh, what your preferences are and so on. Uh, we go up to the top here. Let's go back up to the top menu. Let's go, what's on now? And you can see we've got various different games. 
Uh, you've got curling off to the right there, kids programming, a lifestyle programming, action and adventure, all these things are on right now. And, and notice the, the yellow status bar. Basically what that is, that's telling you how far into the movie that is. And each one of these is going to have its own status bar. This is, this is live TV. This is just like what the, the cable carriers and the satellite carriers and all that, this is just like what they're offering, except you've got more options and more customization available to you. Uh, go over to the guide, and this is, this is what people are accustomed to seeing. You've got the guide here, and you can flip right through the guide just like you can any other uh, network that's out there. See what there's going on there, and notice that there's a, there's a whole listing of tele or television stations that are available to you, all sorts of them. Uh, and you've got a couple different options as far as how you want to look at this. Let's get all the way back up to the top there. So the grid, and then you can also search, you can also search based on the, uh, the, the channel. So if you want to look at uh, a specific channel, you can scroll through all of these and see you've got uh, all sorts of channels available to you, whether you're interested in sports, movies, older movies, newer movies, uh, USA, sci-fi. You can see there's, there's a whole bunch of channels available. And uh, you've got a couple different packages available. You've got the Sling Blue and Sling Orange. And the way this works is it, it's just like uh, any other carriers out there. You go with the, the package that, that more fits your needs. Uh, the packages start at $20 a month, and the, the higher level package, the lower package is $20 a month, the higher package is $25 a month, but then you also have add-ons. You can go a la carte with some stuff. Uh, like if you're, if you're really interested in sports, they've got a little sports offering, or I think it offers five or six channels, that's $5 additional a month. Uh, so anyway, not, not that I'm trying to sell Sling TV, I'm just trying to help you understand how the services work and how how the, the future is going, uh, the, the television future, uh, you, don't, you don't have to be tied into the major carriers that are out there. There are other options available. Uh, all right, so let's pop back up here to the, uh, the menu. We've got sports. You can see there are all sorts of sports offerings available now. Um, NHL, college basketball, pro, pro basketball, football, so on. We pop over to shows. You can see the various different shows that are playing. Uh, at, You've got six episodes available, Walking Dead, so all sorts of different options. Again, it acts, acts and reacts real similar to the way we've become accustomed with Netflix and Hulu, with the, uh, the various different uh, apps that we just sp move over to, click on it, and we can watch however many episodes there are. Uh, and you also have the option of rentals. So if, you, if there's something you've been wanting to see, it's not on regular television, uh, you can come over to rentals and you can click on that and you can you can find something that you're looking for there. So, okay, so that's that's Sling TV. I'm going to pop back to the uh, the main menu here, and we'll just click through a few more of these just so you can get an idea of of what Roku is, how it works, and uh, uh, and why why Air North decided to choose this as. Uh, something that we want to promote and and give out when somebody signs up for DSL service. So we'll just click through some of these. Now, one, one thing I do want to warn you is not all of these are free. Some of these you do have to have a subscription to, and some of them are you have access to some content and the other content you have to have a subscription to. Comedy Central, not 100% sure. I think this one you have access to some content, but if you want access to the full lineup, you have to have uh, a subscription to one of the, uh, the major channel carriers out there. Uh, Crackle. Crackle is real similar to Netflix and Hulu. It, provide, it allows you to watch movies. This one doesn't have a charge to it. It's, it's a free service. However, it does have commercials in it. And uh, if you're okay with commercials, great. They're, they're not that long. They're not, they're not that intrusive. Um, a lot of people have become accustomed to the, the, the Netflix idea where you just watch the movie all the way through. Everybody's different. I found that uh, I have a Netflix account, and I watch Crackle every now and then, and I found the commercials, they're really not that annoying. Uh, then you've got uh, some of the major channels that are out there. They've got um, apps available on here as well. Uh, Pluto, it's like, it's kind of like uh, the Sling TV. It's a free version, except it has commercials, and there's quite a few commercials in there. This one, personally, I thought... I thought it had more commercials and it was a little more, a little more intrusive in the show. But again, it's I, I've become more accustomed to Netflix where I don't have any commercials at all. So, 
Then you've got Pandora, iHeartRadio. This over here, if you want to get your local news, basically what happens is you just go on onto this app, you find your local news station, and if the if the news station participates with this app, then what'll happen is if it's the six o'clock news, it'll do a recording of that six o'clock news, and probably by like seven or eight o'clock that night, it'll have it uploaded to this app. And you can watch it, you can watch it for the next 24 hours until they upload the next uh, six o'clock news or whatever the uh, the time period is at your, in your local area. Uh, but notice we've got there's all sorts of apps available. This is only uh, we've got 25 of them here. If you want to see more, you just click the little star button and go to options. Oops, well, maybe that's not where I wanted to go. Close. I, I take that back. What we need to do is we need to go back to the uh, home and we're going to do a search. We're gonna, actually we're going to search for streaming channels. It's been it's been a little while since I've used this. Uh, I don't use it every day, but um, so featured, you, we've got our featured channels. Notice that we've got 14 of those, and there you can see that there are several that are different than what I had on on my home screen. Uh, news and notable. Notice we've got several apps available here, and most of these are not on my home screen. But you can see there's there's all sorts of different things available. I, I believe on the box when you're uh, uh, when you're looking at the the device itself it says you've got access to over 500 channels and that's what these are you've got are some most popular obviously this is where you're going to find your netflix and your youtube and your hulu and your sling and so on uh so yeah it's the options are endless so many different things to watch so i hope this tutorial helped uh the goal was just to do an introduction to the Roku Express, uh, the Roku devices, how Roku services work, and and just give an introduction to the uh, Sling TV because that's what I found is that's the most like what the cable networks are providing, and it's it's far more um, cost effective. Uh, at at twenty to twenty to thirty dollars a month, even if you do a bunch of the add-ons, you might be hovering around the fifty dollar mark. And I know a lot of the carriers that I'm finding out there, I, I hear horror stories of people being charged anywhere from $90 to $150 a month to watch television. And uh, I just wanted to let everybody know there are other options available out there. And, and we're happy to uh, provide, provide service, provide advice. Uh, any questions that you have, feel free to reach out to me. Uh, the, the web address is airnorth.net. And our office is 231-333-3104 if you want to reach out and ask us any questions. Uh, and if you want to know if uh, we're able to provide service in your area, we do, we do have a pretty large footprint. Uh, we cover 22 states, and we'd be happy to uh, see if your address qualifies and see if we could provide service, see if we could be your service provider. So again, have a great day, and uh, look forward to talking to you. Hope you enjoyed the tutorial.